I finally did it, guys. I found a working 64-bit version of the Legendary Live Cut plugin by uh, MDSP at Smart Electronics. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for a working 64-bit version, and I believe I found one finally after so many years. Um, what you see here is actually a bridged version of the 32-bit plugin. Um, so it's it's just the old one, but I I'm, I'm just want to show you which plugin I'm talking about. Um, the actual plugin, which is actually a VST3 version, uh, I'm not sure if it works for Mac, but I know it works for Windows. Um, and it's not ported by the original uh, developer, actually. I'm just going to close the old version. It's actually made by some guy at KVR Audio, the, the forums, uh, where I found it after a lot of digging. And um, I think I found the thread back in like in December 2022. Um, and I saw that there were a lot of discussions about how they were able to create the plugin without the graphical user interface, if I'm not mistaken. And then some guy attempted to make a VST3, VST3 port uh, with a graphical user interface. And he actually published a version of it on GitHub. But uh, unfortunately, back then, um, it didn't show up when I tried putting the VST3 uh, file in... Um, in my plugin folder, Ableton wouldn't detect it. And I saw that some other people had the same problem. So I was like, okay, well, shit, that sucks. But um, then randomly I logged back into my KVR account and I saw that I had a reply from, from the developer saying that he had fixed the issue, <laughs> which uh, he actually did. Um, so I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download this uh, VST3 version, 64-bit, uh, uh, from uh, from his GitHub. Um, he also provided the source code, if I'm not mistaken. So if you know how your ways around how to code and stuff, maybe you can do a 64-bit version for Mac if this one doesn't work. Um, I will also leave a link to the thread uh, in case you run into any problems because I am in no way affiliated with the developer. I haven't developed this myself. I just want to share that um, I just want to share the info that there is a working 64-bit uh, version out there. So now that we have that out of the way, let's just have a go and see how it behaves. Um, so far, I've been testing it, and it works just like the original plugin does. So here are some sound examples. So here's the sounds in dry mode. being run into Autogrid. So let's try it out.
but yeah, that's uh, basically the plugin. It is exactly as I remembered it. Um, just that I don't, I still have no idea all the what all the parameters do. I haven't found any documentation on how it works, like what this SQ pusher does. I don't know. I just think about square pusher, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with it. Anyway, that was everything I wanted to show you guys. Um, I hope you will enjoy the plugin as it is um, and it, that it works well for you. Um, in the meantime, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.